piano class. Today we are going. Oh, God. <clears throat> Hello, class. Today we are going to go over a little thing I like to call everyday carry, featuring what I just dropped. And I will explain why it fell because there's one thing I hate about it. But I've been watching a lot of everyday carries recently, and I thought I can do one of those. So I did, and that's what I'm gonna do now. I will preface this by saying I don't have a gun. A lot of EDCs I looked at had guns, and I just wanna apologize right off the bat for not having a gun, or bat even in that case. Anyways, this is a list video, so let's get along, shall we? Wow, I need to stop. I had the case of the giggles right now. I'm gonna go over things in order of importance. The last one I actually just dropped on the floor. Knives, there are phones, there are headphones, you know, I don't really wanna say it because it's a list video, so I'm giving stuff away. But then there's one really cute gift that Taylor got me, we'll go over that, and then of course, Finally, I will also tell you a little bit about the bag. If you watch my other videos, I already talked a little bit about the bag, so it's gonna be very brief. Brief case, but here we go. This is a Benchmade 551 Grip Tillion. An ex-girlfriend of mine actually got it for me for my birthday because I got her a tiny little Benchmade for her birthday. I don't know why we were getting each other knives. Maybe we were planning to have a knife fight. Good thing that didn't happen because clearly we didn't work out anyways. And I also saw that no one ever wins in a knife fight. That's just a, I guess that's a saying that you should always stick by. But the Benchmade is a great knife. It has a really nice flip action. I think this is a pretty standard, just like great knife. Everybody knows it. So thank you, ex-girlfriend. I also have a Buck 110 that I've literally never used once. I knew about the knife, obviously, I always thought it was great, but it is on the album cover for a Front Bottoms album. Rock and roll. Who I like. Now the two sad stories is my favorite knife ever is a Zero Tolerance 0450 knife. I thought that was so cool. It was super smooth, super sharp, really slim. But what happened was I went to a stand-up comedy show and the lead comedian stole my knife and that wasn't funny at all what do you do when someone steals your weapon you don't can't fight them no one wins in a knife fight that's most of my weapons besides the very dangerous spoon that i was talking about but the last knife that i had i had like two or three of them but i keep losing them the kershaw leak which is like a cheap knife assisted opening so it like flips up it's really cool and then the day i got it i actually was so excited to see it i opened it up in the parking lot and flipped it open and when i flipped it open the closure lock like jammed so i couldn't bend the metal to close the knife and then i realized that I was just kind of like a little hunched over standing in the Dick's Sporting Goods parking lot holding a knife. So I thought, oh, okay, I guess I'll just put it in my pocket. And I put it in my pocket, laid down, and the knife cut through my pocket bags and fell down my jeans and stuck into the side of my shoe. Obviously not good knife safety. <laughs> First one, sunglasses. These are Ray-Bans. They're called round metal sunglasses. They're not polarized. I wish they were because if it's really sunny, I get this horrible headache. And Taylor, if it gets really sunny, gets really dizzy and throws up. So we both, if the sun's out, it's not a good day. This is a picture from our last vacation together. Great time. Also considering getting glacier glasses, which I think could be a pretty cool look. The only thing that I think is really interesting about AirPods is that they're called AirPods because Apple released the iPod, which is the music player, and that came with earbuds for your ears. So technically, these should be called AirBuds, but I'm assuming Apple was like, <laughs> we can't do that, right? Which actually reminds me of my theory that great white sharks were actually originally called gray white sharks, but the person that named them mumbled it. So he was like, oh, do you think we should call that like a gray and white shark? And the person next to him was like, great white shark. Awesome. I'm gonna call this album, no book no paper. Okay, so last thing before we get into the more interesting things, I had a phase where I was obsessed with notebooks. I had a blog where I would review all these different types of notebooks. Notebook companies were starting to reach out to me. This is a big thing in college, but I kept it under wraps. I didn't tell anyone because I was like, this is kind of odd, right? I also have a theory that humans just love like thin, rigid, square things like notebooks, chocolate bars, tablets, phones. I think that there's just like a uh, instinct in us. I don't know why, but it's like, that is good. I should, I should hold on to that. I have three moleskins right now. They're all moleskins. This first one's just my notebook that I got in college. I basically write in it when I was feeling really stressed or like existential. And then when I'm feeling better, I wanted to keep writing in it, but I never did. So it's really just a collection of the worst parts of my life, which makes you think how many diaries that got published by famous people where they seem really upset, where they just did the same thing. They were so happy, they're like, I don't need to write anything. I'm in a great mood today. Why would I write anything? Like if I died and someone found this notebook, they would think I was so sad. And I'm not, I'm quite happy. Anyways, there's a sticker on the front that says not everybody gets corrupted. I put that on when I was in college because I didn't want to be obsessed with money and stuff when I graduated. And I was like, not everybody gets corrupted. 
And then I got my first bill. Ironically, from college. Then we have my Iron Snail notebook, which is blank. I can't show you the inside because there's other things in there, but it's, you know, that's what it is. And then we have this giant notebook. I have no idea what I'm going to use it for, but we'll see. Here comes the Y'all don't really want it like that. Yeah, here comes the Okay, so here we go. The heavy hitters. We have cameras, we have technology, we have my Rolex, another watch, and other stuff I don't want to give away. First things first, my Pentax Spotmatic SP2 35mm film camera. I love this camera. I gave it to my sister as a present. She never used it, so I stole it back. And it's amazing. It has so much character, more character than any other film camera I've shot with. It's so cool. Ignore, like, the dark parts of the photos I'm putting up right now, because the shutter used to be messed up, so I got it fixed. Then, pomade, which is what you put in your hair. I love pomade. I want to make a video about pomade and hair and stuff like that, which I may do next week if you're interested, but who knows? I made it a goal in my life to never buy the same pomade twice, so I always get a different one when I run out of the other one. And now, okay, this is this is the story. This is a very cute gift from Taylor. I, a couple weeks ago, I accidentally bought grapefruits when I thought I was buying oranges, and now I'm obsessed with grapefruits. Uh, the lighting setup on my Philips Hue lighting is called Grapefruit. I tried to buy grapefruit.com. Turns out it's $100,000. This is a very dangerous spoon to grapefruits, and you'll notice punched into it is my name, Michael. So it's a pleasure. I get to lick my name every morning. But Taylor put my name in there to be engraved. It wasn't like one of those spoons you just grab with your name on it and she did that because she originally wanted to get punched in happy grapefruit which is funny in itself but what's even funnier is the lady that punched the grapefruit spoons got mad at Taylor and canceled her order and this is what she said I am sorry but I can only fit eight characters or spaces stamped per line as it is written in my product description I can't even fit the single word grapefruit on one line without squishing it all together and overlapping the leathers Letters. Grapefruit has 10 letters. And you wanted me to stamp happy grapefruit. <laughs> She's not mad because Taylor asked. She's probably mad because everybody wants more than eight characters. And you wanted me to stamp happy grapefruit, which is 16 spaces all on one line. Never be able to accomplish that. Sorry. Cancel the order. <laughs> <laughs> and Taylor responds, whoops, didn't see that, but I see you already refunded the order. I'll reorder with a shorter message, thank you. No worries, gave a great evening. That's great. Taylor does give a great evening. Don't take that the wrong way. What actually makes it funnier is if she did try to put in happy grapefruit and it was all squished together and ugly, that's even funnier. I would have loved that. Anyways, that's my grapefruit spoon. It's really not that important on my list. I have it basically as one of the most important things, but... Since Taylor gave it to me, it's that important. Anyways, this is my Taylor Stitch wallet. I got this wallet from Taylor Stitch and I stuffed it too much so it looks a little ugly and I can't fit anything in the middle compartment, but it is a nice wallet. Are there better slim wallets? Probably, sure. Is this one really pretty? Yes. Did I have a Taylor Stitch gift card? Yes. I just wanna rolly, rolly, rolly with a dabber these are my two main watches, my G-Shock DW5600 and my Rolex 1601 from the 70s. These are my main two watches. I rotate them back and forth. I give the G-Shock a lot more attention just because I wear the G-Shock when I think I could possibly break a watch that wasn't a G-Shock, which is like if I'm on set, if I'm working or doing something more with my hands, I'm like, you know what? Why risk it? Also, side note, Nomos, a watch company, released the Club Campus in orange. Whoa, that's my top watch right now. The final two. Okay, so my two heavy hitters, I flipped the order because my most important thing is kind of boring. So we'll do my most important thing first and the second most important thing. I love technology. I think it's so cool. I love it when you can get in that flow state where it's just like your phone is reminding you to do things. You're crossing them off. You're texting people. It's like very efficient. You're answering emails. I really like that. I love technology. Thought I liked it so much I became a software engineer. And then I said, oh, I like to use technology. I don't like to make it. The most boring thing is just my iPhone 11, but I do, I honestly, I love it. I love Apple Wallet being able to use all my cards. I took it out of the case recently. I think it's so cool the display goes like edge to edge. I love like navigating, texting people. I love my phone. So, Going off of that, the, my favorite thing right now, which I recently just got, is my M1 iPad Pro 11 inches with Magic Keyboard and Apple Pencil. That's what I dropped on the ground, which is the worst part about the Magic Keyboard is the iPad is way heavier than the keyboard, so it's not 
weighted correctly so it falls over really easily. I guess the longer you hold something, you're gonna drop it eventually. Side note, uh, the first baby I ever held, I dropped. Whoa. I had a laptop for a while, but I wanted the iPad instead of the Mac so I could draw things and, you know, mark things up and change things and I actually use that a lot. I really like it. But yeah, the iPad M1, it's basically as strong as like a MacBook Air now. I like that all the apps are immediately full screen. It feels very cool, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. Maybe one day I'll make a video on it. That's the top thing right now. If there's anything you think I'm missing, please let me know. But if not, follow me here, subscribe, comment, like, do all your things. Next week, I usually know what video I'm gonna make. I have no idea. So I may make a video on pomade because I just ordered some. Forgot to mention the uh, bag. So this is the bag. It's a briefcase. I think it's made out of full grain leather. I got it from a thrift shop. If I was to estimate, I would say it's probably from the 80s or 90s. It is great. The leather is still relatively soft and I love it. There's a bunch of pockets in it. Not too much to be said. It was thrifted, so I don't really don't have a ton of information on it, but yeah, that's that. So yeah, that's about it. Anyways, you know what's weird? It's it's like I'm talking to you, but when I'm doing a video like this, it's also like I'm not. Like there's a wall in front of us that's like me not directly interacting with you. So I hope everything's good. I will see you soon. See you next Friday. And I'll just make a regular vlog soon so we can actually just chat. Anyways, bye. Does this help break the illusion? This is, you know, I'm just filming over here. See, it's just my room.